Starfield is ever so close. Uh, and Inan, you know, thank you so much for that spectacular performance. Really appreciate you coming all the way for this. I'm not allowed to say anything about it. Uh, yes, exactly. All right. Well, guys. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Really disappointed. They're disappointed. That's just so disappointing. This is such a special night for so many developers, and it's really disappointing to see someone uh, act that way. But we're going to move right on with the show. We've got a lot of great games to show you. Studios. I That's right. I Todd situation. Howard, I everybody. <laughs> this is the guy from Happy Days. Todd. Thank you so much for coming all this way to Gamescom. We have a lot to talk about with Starfield, but first of all, is this true this is your first ever time at Gamescom? This is my first Gamescom, and you were right. You said how great the crowd is here, and it really... <laughs> you know, it is our first new franchise in over 25 years, so if I was gonna come, you know, it's for Starfield. Well, uh, we all welcome you to Gamescom in Germany, <laughs> yeah, and we're all very game, excited man. to step into this new world, Starfield. Why did you want to make this game, Starfield? Why did you want to create a new world? A lot of gamers out there, we have dreamt of a Do game have where chat on screen we look no? to the skies and we can blast off into space and explore. We love to make games where we can explore these worlds. We've done like with the Elder Actually, Scrolls usually, usually and the, the Fallout series, kind of but we wanted to do something brand new where you could explore with complete freedom in the, the main galaxy. Chats are usually like it's a game really we've daunting. always wanted to play that um, we think a lot of people wanted to play as well. It's kind of that, that dream game. You did bring some stuff to Gamescom to show to fans. I know there's a theater. What did you bring here to, uh, to Gamescom? Yeah, it's really cool. They, uh, we've built a 300-person seat theater where we're actually showing the beginning of the game. And you start out as a miner, and you, you touch this artifact that affects you in some way where you see a bit into space-time, and then you get to create your own character. Our games are about creating and being whoever you want, and then you're off on adventure. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, this adventure. I know, uh, you know, people have been wondering kind of what the, the main quest line is going to be after you create your character, which is something that I know. I saw even someone on the internet this week created you, I think. Did you see that? Someone tweeted a picture of the That's a, wait, I see did a lot it, of did, things did, on did, the internet. I don't know. I'm not sure that's real. What do you say? Well, the thing is, I think you could literally create, you know, whoever you want and then enroll yourself into this adventure and tell us about sort of how the adventure starts. What can we expect? Well, you jump off, you're joining Constellation, which are the last kind of group of space explorers like NASA meets Indiana Jones father. searching for these artifacts. But the game has a lot of surprises that we haven't talked about. I don't want to spoil them here, yes. um, but really, really happy with how the story turned out and, and where it goes. You and your team have done so much for this industry and uh, the fact that you guys have worked through COVID building this and, and coming on the other end, uh, we're so excited for everyone to get a chance to play it. So thank you for all you've done for our industry, Todd. Everyone, Todd Howard. Thank you. Can't wait for you to play the game. Next, it's time for the global reveal of the third installment in a franchise that is very familiar to Gamescom fans. Here we go. Kneel before Todd. <laughs> Here we go. Kneel before Todd Howard. <laughs> now, what is this? Bird? Co-op game? Is it new is, is a new co-op game? But if you're if you're English second language. Where's the sound coming from? China. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I think this looks more like a monster hunter than a, than a souls like. Monster Hunter is okay. But yeah, this, this definitely looks more like a Monster Hunter than a Souls like. Hey, hey, wait, is it he is Henua or hey Shenua? Or he is. Ew. What is that? Resident Evil? What is this? Killing Floor in college, dude. What? I haven't played him forever. Killing Floor is a good, like, uh, play with your friends game. Wait, it says I only have 73 minutes? I swear I played more than that. Guys, wish list, wish list, wish list. Age of Empires. Dude, people people say RTS is a dead genre, but I just think there's there just hasn't been like a, a good RTS that really captures people more so than it being a dead genre. You know? It's just niche, exactly. Like, uh, what's the uh, Stormgate, right? Stormgate is like from from former Blizzard devs. That's kind of like the. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Age of Empires Four. Didn't that already come out? What a great surprise. Age of Empires 4 like, Anniversary like Edition ago? An award winning game on PC is now available on uh, Xbox uh, consoles uh, uh, uh. today. That's right. It's been a number of years <laughs> since we last heard an update on Crimson Desert, the new open world action adventure from Pearl Abyss in South Korea. Well, that changes tonight because the team has prepared a very special gameplay update trailer to share with the world first. 
You're at Gamescom. Enjoy. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, he did say a game was coming, but it was funny because I think we just watched the movie trailer, but not the game trailer. Yeah, that Rebel Moon movie could look good. It looks like BDO. Yeah, it looks like Black Desert. Oh, cursor. Chat, the cursor was part of the trailer. Wait, did he say it's the same devs as BDO? Is it called Crimson Desert? Am I dumb? Did I just to did that totally go through my head? Go over my head while I was uh, I'm an idiot. I was thinking about my pineapple. Wolf's head helmet, level 46, leather helmet. for a lot of Eastern games. Like, Korean MMOs, like, they just, they, like, it's, it's all about the visuals. Like, that's, like, that's such, like, a big thing for them. You know? Oh, uh, it's a BR at the end. Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. Hey, what's up, Gamescom? It's Ice T. I've hooked up with my favorite game in the world, Payday, and I have my own special heist mission in Payday 3. And you know I know what? a lot about heists in real life, all right? It launches September 21st. Here's a world premiere. First look. World premiere. Okay, so here's the deal. The components are kept in high security cooling Dude, containers Payday is, is somewhere super fun. in the storage yard. The clock starts ticking as soon as the components are out in the open. So you need to haul ass to get them to the transport. Take too long. I used to play Payday so much in high school. Grade and lose value. Now, do what you need to do to get ready. I'll see you on the other side. So when, is there any date for Payday 3? Am I? Dude, is something wrong with me? I keep asking questions and things they already are saying. What is going on?
So, so is it September or not? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can you pre-order it? <laughs> when are they gonna play the Payday Food trailer? Oh, did Ubisoft make this game? Okay, I'm done. Sorry. Wait! Oh, nice rog. Very good rog. Dude, how come all the freaking games with brown people are always Arabs? How come there's no Persian brown people? There's literally no games for Persians. Prince of Persia. Oh wait, never mind, I take it back. Never mind, I take it back, my bad. What's up, Charles? <laughs> They're gonna make a Prince of Persia in January, right? Next January, Prince of Persia is coming out. Wait, so, so, um... <clears throat> Assassin's Creed Mirage in Ubisoft original. Wait, a uh, Ubisoft? It's a Ubisoft. Wait, is it a Ubisoft or a Ubisoft? There you have you it, an Assassin's you? Creed Mirage, which marks a return to the Middle East for is the series, a offering an immersive... An authentic experience featuring full Arabic voice actors. As you saw in that trailer. You can be transported to 9th century Baghdad when the game launches on October 5th. Well, now I'm joined by the one and only Harad Hassan, the creator of Tekken, uh, and Michael, okay. the producer of Tekken. Here we uh, go, Tekken. Tom, Dude, does yeah. he not look like a Tekken Harada? character? So up until now, we've been mostly showing off the battle mechanics and, and new uh, gameplay. But today we have an all new uh, mode for uh, to show you today. But this brand new mode is kind of the story that focuses on you as a player. It covers the arcade scene, which is you know a classical atmosphere that uh, people our generation actually got to experience firsthand. But maybe some of the newer game player uh, gamers out there haven't. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look at the brand new trailer for Check It Eight. Thanks, guys. They're not done announcing all the fighters yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody I bet this dude speaks perfect English, but doesn't want to. Yeah, Harado, he spoke, he spoke at Evo. The Hachi Mishima is dead. Oh my gosh, Rashid again? Let's go. Ezreal! New single player mode? Oh, it's like World Tour. Wait, I thought Yoshimitsu was Soul Calibur. Let's go! He's both? Okay. Eat this! What's done is done. Kitana. Kill! 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 the bear. Kill! the bear's name? Wait, what the frick? <laughs> Ready for the next battle. 
Akuma and Panda. January 26. All right, I'm now joined by Shelby Carlton and Dave Swenson from Sledgehammer because on November 10th, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 arrives, and today uh, I they were gonna talk you guys about a beta be the first or something. audience in the world to see uh, some raw, real gameplay. I feel like they, game feel like they, the they moved on from that kind of quick. Uh, Dave Shelby, welcome to Gamescom. What can you tell us about the uh, Evo Modern just Warfare happened. 3? Okay. Well, first of all, Jeff, it is awesome to be here. Modern Warfare 3 this year is the complete package. We're shipping 16 multiplayer maps, all from the original Modern Warfare 2. What a These maps have been liar, modernized dude. with what new gameplay and features. We little also have liar, open world dude. zombies. This is our lar largest zombies. Yeah, yeah. This is our largest zombies offering ever. And for the first time, it's set in the modern open world universe. Open world and of zombies. course, this year, we are bringing a huge innovation to the Call of Duty campaign. Yes, let's talk a bit about the campaign, Shelby. Uh, I, uh, Makarov, I know, is going to factor into this. See him over there. Um, tell us a bit about what is the, the storyline? What can we expect from the campaign? Yeah, so for the first time for Call of Duty this year, we're doing a direct sequel. You know, Modern Warfare 2, they asked a lot of interesting questions in their story, and Sledgehammer Games is so excited to work with Infinity Ward on the campaign to answer some of those questions and to bring you Modern Warfare 3. And one of those answers, he's actually, he's standing right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> he is Makarov. He is our infamous antagonist. Didn't Modern cool. Warfare 3 already happen? And this year in Modern Warfare 3, we're introducing a new innovation to the Call of Duty campaign that's gonna allow players to interact with that story like never before. We call them open combat missions. Open combat missions are player directed. They allow the audience to play the game the way they want to play it. So if you're like me and you like stealth, you can go in quiet, you can equip suppress weapons, complete all the objectives without the enemies ever knowing you were there. Isn't but that if you normal? want to go in loud, Isn't that you normal? can strap on armor plates, you can go and hit the enemy head on, and open combat missions will support it. You can leverage vehicles, you can leverage tacticals, lethals, you can even use your favorite kill streaks in campaign. Wow. Now, open combat missions are really important to our campaign story, and they're gonna work seamlessly with those epic cinematic missions that Call of Duty fans know and love. I and feel like I feel like almost every every gun first look at one of these every epic shooting game missions. campaign okay, mode uh, is like that. Set it up is for it a shot. What are we going to see? This is the start of the game almost, right? Yeah, so this is a sneak peek of the very first level of Modern Warfare 3. This is called Operation 627. All right, check it out. Here you go, Call of Duty at Gamescom first. Thanks, guys. Instead of leading you through the mission, it's gonna let you run around and not know what you're doing. True. Can't talk about Tex, Mr. Texas Stealth. Look, Texas Stealth, baby, that's how I do things. Alpha team clear. Heading to surface. Okay, now the trailer starts. That was the that was the pre-trailer.
folks up. Wait, I thought I thought I was supposed to get to choose how I wanted to play. What if I want to go around the building Good move. and walk? Get up top. Dude, you know what the problem is? Streaming, the bitrate that this is being streamed at does not do this trailer justice because this looks horrible. I, I can't, I can't tell, see a thing. I can't tell what's going on at all. And you have like the rain on the camera, like it's they, 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 they didn't account for like live streaming at all. Whenever they, whenever they recorded this, like they need to, they need to not have it raining. Like it just makes the game look worse. Yeah, exactly, and it's like it's compressed twice because we're restreaming it. DC clear. Three one, kill the light. Alpha to Bravo one, marking with IR. Confirm visual. Visual, Bravo inbound. How is this not a copy paste of Madden 23? True. This is just like last year's Madden. Shut up, idiot. That's <laughs> off. He advised. They got a bird up. Movement in the courtyard. Looks like a prisoner transfer. Not our guy. On me. Hold up here. All teams alpha's in position. Copy. Bravo set. Charlie, good to go. Roger. Fire in the hole. Stand by. Three, two, one. Execute. They're taking the bait. Light them up. Yeah, I feel like they, um, I feel like they didn't choose a good mission to show. Like, I don't know, I don't know what it is about this. Like, it's hard for me to pay attention. Oh, yeah. A new Baldur's Gate content update every year and a new Madden game every 23 years. Hatchway, on me, move. True. Let's pop the hatch. Let's go, stay close. Bravo. Alpha's in the tunnels. What's your status? Outside the control room. Waiting on you. Copy. At the gate. Stand by. All teams, let's roll front down. Bravo. Roger. Black out in three, two, one. Execute. <laughs> Opening blocks 
Matt, are you guys getting drops, by the way? Of what? Alpha one there's, Bravo there's supposed one. to be drops. Check. 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 I have YouTube Premium. Alpha moving solo. Let's get our guy. Ready, breach. Why don't they stream it in 4K? Well, what they do is they usually stream it at the same bit rate to multiple platforms. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that was it, man. Next up, we're going to step into the world of the Hoyoverse. And I am here with Jen Yu Lee, the producer of Zenless Zone Zero. Jen Yu, welcome to Gamescom. It's great to have you here. No, I never watched our game. Yes, fantastic. It's a great honor to have you here. Uh, we've been very excited to hear more about ZZZ, uh, the next game from the Hoyoverse. Uh, in the Hoyoverse. Can you tell us a little about what you brought to uh, Gamescom for this ARPG? So we've brought a trailer with us. Um, and it shows you some of the urban environment that we've been working on and also some of the, the um, dynamics of the game. I hope you like it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Here you go. Brand new trailer for Zenless Zone Zero at Gamescom. His English accent is slightly weird, too. Hey, what happened? He turned into a dog person. idea what the hell just happened. Wait, they made a game called ZZZ that's this terrible. April, that's literally Hawk the Guy worst Star name you could possibly give it. The Have you guys noticed all the anime games or gotcha games? No, I will say that this the combat and stuff in Genshin is actually, Lords is actually of the Fallen cool. releases an RPG adventure where he plays a dark crusader who can access a parallel dimension, the Umbral. Here is a first look at the brand new story trailer. For that Lords sounded of the cool. Dark Crusader. Crown of Thorns. Okay. Oh shit! Frick, dude. I look upon you with pity, my lost child. For you have been deceived. They brand me evil. A tyrant. And 
Yet I offer you something they will not. A choice. After all the time mankind have had to shape their own destiny. See what they have made of it. Okay. See, now this is an S fan game. Greed. Hatred. This is an S fan game. Suffering. Okay. Big sword. Paladins. Darkness, brother. <laughs> what? Nice. You are in the presence of a god healer. Heal before me and beg for forgiveness. And remember, be if you be look into the shadows, might be the shadows look back. That's what I'm talking about. Actual good trailer. That one looks sick. All right, right now we've got a first look at The First Descendant, a next generation action looter shooter from Nexon. The crossplay open beta is going to be held September 19th to 25th. I'm trolling, by the way. They leave the house all the time. <laughs> what are we playing after this? We must uh, either world Madden world. or Baldur's Gate, I still haven't made my final decision. Except if I play calling. Madden Descent. today, then I would do Baldur's Gate tomorrow, the and then before Armored Core, I would do Baldur's Gate as well. Rise, my warriors. So I gotta figure it out. Give your lives for it's the Iron Heart! This could wipe out all of the Volgus, right? That's so cool. Chat. <laughs> Countless descendants have shed blood to protect the sanctity of this great place. Despite their efforts, humanity is still at risk of extinction. And you are the only chance we have. <laughs> I love this game. I love Nexon now. <laughs> Look terrible, Hello? but Hello? Uh, Hi. I just looked like a we'll see. surface world. Good. Everything's fine. Great. How are you? Tired, but in a good way. Busy. Underwater. Uh, Unitrench is still Unitrench. I'm worried about <laughs> David you. the Diver too. I heard there was a storm coming. I told you, I I still need time. Time to what, Stan? Because as far as I can see, you're just treading water. We're upping the extraction rate. Good one. Maximum output. I don't expect you to understand. You're not the only one who's suffering. I need you with me here, now. I will be. I promise. Under the waves. You're right there. On the verge of something special. Of being first into great unknowns. Wait, if you're streaming the game in the Marvel Snap category of drops?
Joining me now, Troy Baker, Roger Clark, Julia Brown, the stars of Fort Solace, which is out today on PlayStation and PC. Guys, welcome to Gamescom. Uh, this is so fun. Tell us a bit about this project. What can you tell oh us Oh my God, look at these people. You guys are insane. Yeah. I, we've been able to talk about this game for a while. I think the thing that I'm most excited about is for people to explore these characters. Um, the, at the core of this experience is, is unraveling the mystery of Fort Solace. You're going to play Starfield? I'll give you, you're I'll give it a try. You're going to do that by discovering these characters and, and learning about their stories. And that's, as actors, that's something that we just want to throw ourselves into. And this is a game, I know Roger made, it's, it's an independent game made by a, a pretty small team, right? Ten people, yeah. two years, zero delays. Yeah. We are very excited to share yeah. with you. Yeah, no delays. The world, Fort Solace today. It was a real joy to work on, and it's a joy to see what indie studios are capable of in this day and age. It's a real thrill. And, and an amazing cast uh, for an independent game. Juliet, this is, uh, you know, we know you from a lot of great, you know, film, television work. Uh, this game thing, how did you get involved in this project? Yeah, it's my first ever video game project. Yeah. So I'm so excited. And I just Thank got third And to get to, to work beside two of the best be in the game world, world nonetheless. Oh, so do I do I mean. Mean. Don't lie to me. Yes. <laughs> Watch these guys and learn. And you got I mean you guys did full on, I mean, performance capture. We see yeah. a little tease of your character there, Julia. What can you tell us about kind of the what we're gonna see in Wait, this? Who is, who is she? It is really what does she an do? amazing narrative experience, right? This sort of uh, you know, an independent game but done you sound on great. production value. You sound yeah. great. Roger. Jolly you know, Roger. One of the best things about working with Troy, I remember coming in from lunch and we were doing the mocap, and I walked into the foyer and there I see Troy's butthole. I mean, the, the hole is butt made. <laughs> When we were, okay, we, when I say we threw ourselves into this, we literally they did. The hole is butt there's made? A hole in the wall <laughs> that was made by my butt. Yes. Oh, okay. Which he signed. <laughs> and Julie, I, I know you're, it's a little mysterious what your role is in this game, right? But we have to play to find yeah. out. Dude, that's awkward. Yeah. Like, nobody yeah. in the crowd laughed. That was funny. Yeah, working on Fort Solace alongside Jack Cleary. Yeah. Uh, and they're going to have a night that they will never forget. Ooh, okay. And um, it's a thrilling ride. Well, let's get a little tease of this. I said it's out today. Here is the launch right trailer. Now for Fort Solace. Thanks so much, guys. Our pleasure. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Jack Leary, senior engineer en route to Fort Solace in the Planum Quadrant, responding to an alarm. Suspected power failure, await further information. Recording submitted. Is there no sign of security? This game came out today. I think there may have been an incident here. What the hell is going on, Jack? You need to leave and let Central handle it. I don't, uh, what does this remind me of? This reminds me of something. Yeah, it's kind of like Dead Space, Alien Isolation. All right, next, it's time for the announcement about a new game from Focus Entertainment and Saber, the continuation of the ultimate off-road experience. Oh, here we go. Behind all great discoveries. Oh, nice. Lies a journey. Hunting game. One of anticipation and adaptation. Of struggle. Of hope. Guys, thank you for the subs. Just some guy, thank you for the tier Each one. Step thank you, Gemini, for, for the 11 runs. Obstacle, there's a solution. Every task, a tool. Task and tool. 
Yep, absolutely. For every destination. Every An destination. What's up, Isaac? Yep, expeditions. A mud runner game. Wish list and now. All Jeep right, our simulator. next stop, the Crew Motor Fest, a vibrant open world, welcomes you to the ultimate festival for car lovers, Motor Fest. Here is the brand new trailer. On a scale of one to ten, why are you so interested in anime? I'm not interested in anime. Okay, this don't look right. I'm gonna play this. Uh, I got a sponsor for this uh, F1 game coming up soon. Actually, do I still have my wheel? Let me see if I have my wheel. The Crew Motor Fest comes out September 14th, and the brand new Lamborghini Revelto is on the cover and playable. And we have a special ONL announcement for everyone watching between September 14th and 17th. A free trial will be available of the game, offering five hours of gameplay on all platforms for the Crew Motor Fest. All right, moving on with CD Projekt Red gearing up for the release yeah, of the Spy Thriller expansion to <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty on September 26th. The studio is ready to share a new look at the wide range of overhaul Sponsor mechanics coming to the game. game. As you're about to see, Can't believe a they're lot paying has you to changed. Crash into every check wall this on out. The for a few hours. I, I never played Cyberpunk, but I heard that Cyberpunk got a really bad rap. Because it, uh, because of all the compatibility issues with like the, the console version. V, my but the PC market. version is like crazy Welcome good now. Dogtown. Would you guys be Would you guys be down to watch me play Cyberpunk? I've I've wanted to play it for some time now. But like I've never like brought myself to do it because I feel like it's a big undertaking. Yes, if you actually play it proper. Hey, you know damn well if you've ever watched me play a game. There's only one way that I play you games, me, and it's the S fan way. I okay. You. I only play games one way. All right. Tonight we've also got an update on the science fantasy strategy game Stormgate, and a first look at one of the factions, the Infernal Hosts. Stormgate is a spiritual successor to classic real-time strategy games like Warcraft 3 and Starcraft Stormgate. That's what I was talking about. Stormgate. Will I said earlier I was like, let's see how Stormgate does. Fighting for control of Earth's future. Today we have an early look at our second faction, the Infernal Host. Infernals live and die by Infernal the code Hose, of victory dog. at any cost. They have a powerful advantage, Shroud, Man, fields they... <laughs> of dark magic that strengthen their armies. Oh. <laughs> the lowliest Infernal units are the worker imps. You might think they're cute, but don't get too close. Between these powerful lumbering brutes and the fiends that they unleash, Infernals will sacrifice everything, including themselves, to emerge victorious. On the music front, the Chainsmokers are advising us on our soundtrack. We're working with composers like Frank Klepacki of Command & Conquer. We'll share more later this year, including some of the friends we brought in to lend their voices to our co-op campaign. All must serve. I'm now here with Judd Cobbler, the founder and CEO of 11 Hour Games. <laughs> Judd, this That's is the a real big You guys, ARPGs have had an incredible year, but you're an independent studio that has been building this game for a number of years, and we're excited to tell your story. So tell us a bit about The Last Epoch. Absolutely. So Jeff, thanks so much for having me. First off, 
Before Last Epoch, I was not in the games industry. I was just a die-hard action RPG player that dreamt of creating a community-made action RPG. And with the help of our community, Use the sound alerts starter, right. we've been able to make or that else. happen. And so in Last Epoch, every single skill in the game has its own transformative skill tree. We have 119 skills in the game so far. Seems like greenwashing. We're adding more every single patch. Greenwashing. We also have an They're awesome greenwashing. holistic skill system, deep and interesting loot, <laughs> and multiple in-game systems for endless... They're trying to make our games environmentally and Jeff, friendly. tonight we're excited to announce our newest class, the Rune Master. The Rune Master has a unique mechanic the where he's able master. to invoke any of 40 different abilities with a single oh, Wait, greenwashing is a real term. It super exciting That's funny, I thought you were making a joke. experiment and find your perfect play style. And the Roommaster is going to be joining us September 7th and will be available to play here all week at Gamescom. Amazing. Well, this is such a great story of this game. I encourage you to check it out. And right now, we've got a first look at the Roommaster. Thanks, Thanks so Judge. Much. Appreciate it. Five years ago, Last Epoch was a community dream. What if we, the players, could band together to make the next great ARPG? What would that game look like? Lots of character classes to choose from. Every single skill would have its own build-defining skill tree. Reaching in-game would be just the beginning, and it would be updated for years so we could play forever. Last Debug makes crafting and finding items super rewarding. Again, it's genius. I think this is the most innovation we've seen in a trade system in an ARPG in at least a decade. Okay. 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 A really cool game. Speaking of cool games, please welcome the winner of Best Mobile hey. Game Last Year at the Game Awards, Ben Brode from Ben Marvel Brode. Snap. Hello, Ben. Oh! Oh, oh Ben Brode! Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. I, I know we won... Dude, Marvel, Marvel Snap was actually year. crazy yeah, good. Yeah. But we just finished rebuilding the entire game oh, to run natively on PC. Oh! It looks, it looks insane. Uh, and I'm here to tell you that, like, literally, just like five minutes ago. No, Ben we Brown was actually good, Jeff. Er, not Ben Brown. <laughs> ben okay. Brown's good. It's on Marvel Steam. Snap we is actually it good. Out. Yes. That's fantastic. Why is he uh, shouting? Now, it's because it's Ben Brooks. If watching the show on Twitch, <laughs> he just does more this. Than 30 minutes of ONL tonight. There's a special Twitch drop, a Spider Man variant for Marvel Snap. And right now, we've got an exclusive. Hey, ben Brooks is to old show you from Snap. Check it out. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, he's an old Blizzard guy. Yeah, he was basically in charge of, uh, actually he was in charge of Hearthstone, wasn't he? Like, he was the Hearthstone guy. Like, he, like... The Sailor Moon? Ghost Rider Deadpool? So they, oh, okay. They re, so they remade the game completely for Steam. Ready to get out there? Next big thing and I'm on the move. Best watch your step when I'm coming through. We have a lot to talk about. Dude, you know what's bad? Classic. Classic. I feel like, my, like, I hear rap music in a game trailer now, and my brain triggers like a, oh, they're trying to force rap music. Like, why are they trying to force it? But I don't even know, like, I, I haven't watched it long enough to, to process whether or not it's a good trailer or if the song fits or not yet. Immediately my brain thinks that. That's, I mean, that's, that's like, a, that's a me problem, but I think that's happened because so many times you're watching trailers, you're like, hey, we're just gonna shove some rap music in here and then it'll be cool. Hello, fellow kids. What do you have against rap? I don't, I love rap music. C4621 has awakened. Oh. 
Armored Core chat Thursday. What's up, my favorite? Thursday, 5 o'clock. We're going to play Armored Core. Call sign Raven. Priority subject for termination. High on the list. Thank you. Thanks, Shabby. Thank you for the two years. Or two months. You ready to climb the wall? A close one from the generator. Why hide behind another's call sign? Watch out. Let's Armored Core. Asphandasphandal. Thanks, Zagratis. Thanks for the 58 months, dude. Fires of Retribution. So, um, Digital Deluxe Edition is, um, is, is this going to be on Steam or is it on Game Pass? Form like scars. <laughs> Cut deep enough. <laughs> and they'll never fail. No, I just like saying Retribution. Or be forgiven. I ran. I begged. I stole. But I survived. Kill not at the end of the 19 months. Okay. Okay, you guys. You know what, though? <laughs> it doesn't matter who tries to stop me. You know what, though? It kind of fits. I'll cut my own path through. I'll fight until I stand in the land of salvation. War Haven. This, that trailer was kind of sick. That was War Haven and the Melee multiplayer PvP game will hit Steam Early Access on September 21st. Next, I am so excited to welcome to Gamescom <laughs> the creator of Mortal Kombat. <sighs> who's come all the way Woke's to right Gamescom to unleash even more news on MK1, which ships in just a month. Please join me in welcoming to o &L, Ed Boone. Oh, oh, Ed Boone, oh! Hello, Ed. Hey, Jeff. Fancy seeing you here. Uh, well, we had a lot of fun with you at Summer Game Fest revealing the first gameplay of MK, and I gotta say, every trailer you drop just gets crazier and crazier. So what did you bring to Gamescom? Um, we brought another, probably our craziest trailer of all. You know, since we, since we introduced the gameplay at Summer Games, Summer Game Fest, we were, we couldn't believe the reaction people having to the game. And they've actually gotten their hands on the game, which has become even more exciting. I can't believe the crazy stuff people have come up with, combining the main char characters and the cameo characters. It's been a riot. But this, uh, this trailer we have here should uh, give Shut you an up, even idiot. better idea of just how insane things get with this game. There are some reveals in it. Uh, I got to say, this is such a great asset. You guys are going to enjoy it. Is it is funny they are like kind of forcing rap music into everything. Trailer. Like they're like, they're forcing it, you know? Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earth Realmers. While our realms are at peace. General Shaw. Victor of the Tavarian War. Conqueror of the Quatan Plains. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. I'm joking. That's me. That's me. That's me, Chad. I was joking. I was joking. I was a joke. I was a joke. Your father teach you that war is the last resort. Do not forget that, General. We go. 
gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy. To continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang. And <laughs> <laughs> Just Let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is raiding, <laughs> your majesty. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earthrealm's champion scrawnier than usual? He has earned his place by embodying the very best Dude, it's like a movie. of Earthrealm's people. It's like you're watching an animated Your movie. Majesty, whom shall I face? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Well, see, I didn't play the previous one. But everybody says the campaign for the previous one was really good and I should play it. yet? Who's your queen? <laughs> my queen. Yes, my queen. September 19th. Dude, when is this game coming out? Yeah. I'm joking. Yeah, Mortal Kombat's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm worried I'm not gonna be very insane. good at Mortal Kombat, Time though. Time for a Blizzard has had a long history here at Gamescom, and in its latest game, Diablo 4, it arrived in June and will be supported Blizzard. for Blizzard hmm. with seasonal content. Their first season of The Malignant is now underway, but in a bit of a surprise, we're now about to share with you the it first news on the next season coming this fall. There's rumors of a... Announcement. Wait, season two of Diablo Millions announcement? Of people Already? That no one would miss. Dead. Discarded. Dude, Diablo 4 launch really was a win for Blizzard, but they, they kind of they, they lost the on that for season one, dude. The killings. Even as fear mounted like the bodies. The desperate and the brave fought to end the corruption. But they were too late. It changed them. Dude, did, dude, Blizzard went from having the best cinematics brought them back in, like, in the world. Hungry. And it, like, like industry standard I setting this place cinematics team, and then now like we all their trailers, they're like different. They're they're this like parallax. Now they look cool. Don't get me wrong. Strength, but it's not the same. None of our weaknesses. Someone like they unexpected. were the best. Dude. They started this in BFA. What was what was it called? The uh, Warbringers. We are the beacon of light. They were called Warbringers trailers, right? Let our stakes pierce through the hearts of the damned. For tonight, we hunt. Season of Blood, season two. Season two is in. Wait, that's fast. October already. 
It is our 10th show, which I can't believe we've been doing it for 10 years. Okay. We'll be live at the Peacock Theater they, in LA. So they have Thursday, a show December tomorrow 7th. as well. I hope to see you then. It's going to be a very, very special show. Thanks again for watching Gamescom opening night live. We'll see you again next year. Good night, everybody. So they have the Future Games show tomorrow. Um, do you guys want to watch the Future Games show? They should hire you to present next year. Uh, I mean, they have Jeff Ke Jeff Keighley is like the goat at, for games presenting. So I don't think they would hire me. Um, <laughs> but I don't watch most of the stream. Thanks, Battle Block Up. Yeah, um, game of the year, man. I mean, it's got to be Baldur's Gate 3 has got to be up there. Final Fantasy 16 is going to be up there. Honestly, Hogwarts is probably going to be up there. Starfield could be a candidate. Dude, this is a bad year for good games to come out if they want to win a game of the year. But man, you, you know what's crazy? At the end of the day, do these rewards really matter? Do the, do the awards really matter? Or all, all that really matters is like, yo, who's, who's buying, right? Like, it kind of doesn't really matter. I think it's just like a fun thing, you know? Good for marketing? It probably is good for marketing because, like, for us, like, we're not, like, mo most of us watching right now, we're not, like, the the average, like, normal gamer. The average person would consider us to be, like, hardcore gamers. If, like, you're paying attention to, like, award shows and you're paying attention to this stuff, but, like, if you're like, hey, I don't know, this game says game of the year, it's probably good, and then they, you know, they go and they see it on the on the cover, right? And then they go sell it to you, or then they go to the store to buy it, and then they're like, okay, whatever. People put game of the year on game releases whether they win or not. That's true, too. People will be like, hey, you know, Billy Bob over at like Gaming Monthly says that this is the game of the year. You know, and they'll just put it on like, you know, I mean, it happens all the time. All right, let's see. Has he won yet? Chad, Oops. If we get to 9,000 subs right now, kill myself in the game. <laughs> okay. Dude, watching that midstream, it felt like just like old, the old streams, dude. I was watching it this morning before I went live, and it felt so much like the old streams. Like, I don't know, it's like good gameplay streams are like, it's good stuff, dude. Things have changed, man.